Hey, Monarch Nation, Ted Alexander here with the latest edition of Who's Zoom and Who. We're presented by Team Monarch partner, the Virginia Lottery. Today, we're pleased to be joined by member of the Philadelphia Eagles, the long snapper, Rick Lovato, the Monarch grad. Rick, thanks for the time today. Hey, thanks for having me on, Ted. Here we are. Did you ever think six months ago that you'd get an NFL season up and running on time? No, I really didn't. You know, it, everything was so crazy at that time, and they were really talking about how we weren't going to play, and every sport wasn't going to play until 2021. So it was kind of strange getting ready for a season that I didn't even know was going to happen. But we still, we still uh, did our our normal routine. We got together, we snapped, kicked, punted, uh, worked out all this, all the same. Everything was virtual. We were doing it through Zoom calls um, when it came to workouts, but. You know, it's it's been a strange year, but we're gonna we're gonna be playing football, which is what I'm excited about. How have you been able to maintain your mental health and your physical health and your physical fitness throughout this pandemic? You know, it's it's those Zoom workouts were were very interesting, but it's been able I've been able to put together a gym in my new house, and uh, you know get you know get to work. You know, it's, it's been the same as usual. Um, Every off season, off season is the same. I have to get ready. I have to get, prepare myself uh, for the season. But uh, it's been good, you know. I've been running outside, getting outside when I can, and uh, lifting as much as possible. So it's 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 great. It's been able to been able to to do a lot of work here. When you're a professional athlete, and like many others, one year contracts, do you ever get comfortable, or do you fight the feeling of being comfortable? You have to fight it. Every year you're trying out for the football team, no matter how many uh, years you have on your contract or not. Uh, you're you're fighting every single year to play in this league because it's it's a privilege. It's, it's not given. So uh, I'm I'm lucky uh, right now to be under a four year contract, but I'm still have that chip on my shoulder like I'm I'm a rookie in the league. You know, it's every year is a, every year is a fight to get to make the roster for sure. The Eagles are your fourth team, Washington, Green Bay, Chicago. What's it like to get cut? It's not fun. It's uh, every time you get that phone call and to be brought in, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, but you kind of kind of have to tell yourself, okay, I have, I'm going to have more opportunities. Uh, you can't get so down on yourself to the point where you don't know if you're ever going to make it back in the league, because if you really think that you, you belong in this, this league, you have to keep playing, keep practicing like you're going to. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to be in that situation where I keep getting opportunities and just making the most of those opportunities. Making the most being means being mentally and physically prepared for your on the job interview. Uh, anything uh, you can give us in terms of tips for being prepared for those moments? You know, it's uh, just that resilient mindset. You know, I, I was working in, uh, in my dad's sub shop and I just told myself every day that I'm like, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I want to go fulfill my dreams. And, uh, and if I'm going to keep getting those phone calls, you know, I need to go show them that this is, this is what I'm meant to do. You know, playing football is what I was meant to do. Um, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity uh, with every team that I've had. It's just been you know, every year I've been able to prove myself, no matter what team it's, it's, I've been with, you know, it's been great. What was playing in the Super Bowl and winning the Super Bowl like? Playing in the Super Bowl was <laughs> like I was a kid again. You know, I honestly, I felt like I had never stepped on a, a football field ever in my life. Uh, I was that nervous. But as soon as I got out there and got my first snap through, um, I was, you know, I kind of mellow, mellowed out. Um, but knowing that there's a hundred million plus people watching you at one time, uh, it, it gets to you, it gets to your head a little bit, but, um, you know, getting through that game was, was hard, but we, we ended up winning and it was incredible. The most incredible feeling I've, I've ever had the experience of, uh, of, do, of doing and, you know, just representing ODU, representing my hometown, representing everyone. Uh, it was really, really neat to be able to do that. Talk about your career at Old Dominion as a long snapper. Did you know that maybe the dream was still alive to play professionally or were you just finding through week to week? You know, every year was, was a different goal for me. You know, 
uh, going into my sophomore year of college, I wanted to be an All-American and I fulfilled that. And then going into my junior and senior year, I kind of had to buckle down right then and say, if I'm going to make it in the NFL, I got to start now. Uh, because I was on that list of guys uh, my junior year of you, you're not going to be able to make it with your athleticism, your height, your weight, uh, the way you snap the ball. You got to get better in all those aspects. So once I heard that my junior year of college, I kind of knew that if I'm going to do it, I'm going to I got to start right now. And, and that's when I kicked it into overdrive. You know, I had to every single year, every single week, every single day uh, prove to NFL teams that I'm good enough to play in the, in the NFL. Uh, but yeah, I had to just keep on fighting, keep on going um, and also help, help out ODU and, and win games there. It wasn't just about me. It was about our team. And that was the most important thing to me. When you turn the pages in your football scrapbook and it goes back to old dominion, what are some of the snapshots you'll remember most? Uh, our game or our game winning kick against FAU, my very last, um, game that I ever played at ODU. That was, that was a great moment for me, but, uh, JMU Taylor throwing that, uh, Hail Mary to Larry Pinkard in the end zone, us beating Louisiana tech, um, in overtime, my senior year, there's so many moments that I could go through in my head, but, uh, there's just, you know, playing against UNH in that high scoring game, uh, and hitting another game winning field goal with Jared Brown, you know, there's so many moments that, that I still look back on that are at that old stadium, too. Just the old stadium is just sitting in my head right now, too. But it's all those moments uh, I reflect on all the time, and it brings me back. When you're a long snapper, part of that three-man triumvirate that is oh so important but oh so ignored sometimes, what is it about the relationship you have to have with your holder and your kicker that, that makes it successful? Yeah, it's not just on on the field chemistry, it's off the field. We we spend a lot of time with each other uh, this offseason. We spend so much time together, more than we ever have before, uh, because we had the time to get together and we couldn't go to the facility and we couldn't do anything, um, you know, with the Eagles um, program. So we had to do everything on our own. So we would go to the high schools and, and snap hold kick and hang out uh, outside of football. We would, you know – just kick it with each other and, and, you know, be friends because that's the most important thing is that we have that chemistry on and off the field. Um, and that's the most important thing as a specialist is consistency on the field, off the field. And You're that's in one of those see. positions where if no one notices you, that's a perfect day. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's yeah, for sure. With no one noticing us, you know, that's, that's the goal. When people ask who I am, I'm like, I'm glad they don't know who I am because if they do, then that means I did something wrong. How do you deal with ultimately stressful situations? What's, what's a, a tip you can give? Uh, you know, breathing techniques, honestly, that's been a huge thing for me. Um, because my job is, is, you know, you have to be perfect and every single snap has to be perfect. So doing those breathing techniques and just reminding myself that I've done this a, a million times. I can do it one more time perfectly, you know, and I just have to go out there and remind myself that, you know, it, that's it. I've been doing this forever, so I can keep doing it. Uh, just calm myself down and, and rip it back there. When you're watching other teams play in the National Football League and you see a missed kick or a blocked punt, and they go to the super slow-mo to mm -hmm. see if the snap was on and the hold was right and the footing was – what goes through your mind when you're trying to uh, watch those moments from other folks? Oh, everything. You know, I, I'm, of course, first looking at the snap to see if it was good, the hold and the kick, and uh, the commentators don't always know exactly how the operation's going. But, uh, yeah, I kind of see it and, and analyze it and – uh, you know, I, I pretend I'm the one out there and I'm like, and I feel bad for the guys because I do know all the other long snappers in the league. And uh, if there does, something does go wrong, but um, you know, it's, it's something that you have to kind of just evaluate as yourself and you're saying, okay, well, if that was me, what would I do differently? And um, you know, you, you just kind of evaluate in that, in that aspect. So here we are, fourth season as a pro, another year with the Eagles. Tell us, uh, tell us why we should be rooting for Philly this year. 
you know, we have an exciting young team this year. We've, we picked up some really good guys in the draft, and uh, I think we're going to be a fast, fly-around football team. Uh, and I, I just love this division that we play in. The NFC East is so exciting every single year. Uh, us and the Cowboys, the Giants, and the Redskins, you know, I think it's going to be a great year for us, and uh, I hope that you see us in the playoffs for sure. Rick Lovato, we appreciate your time today. Realize how much Monarch Nation is proud of you and is following you and, and wishing you nothing but uh, health and, and good fortune this year with the Eagles. Thanks for the time. Thank you, Ted. Go Big Blue. Rick Lovato, long snapper for Super Bowl 52 champion Philadelphia Eagles, joining us on this edition of Who's Zoom and Who, presented by Team Monarch partner, the Virginia Lottery.